Hi friends. Have a nice time. In the last video, we got a vague idea on pass transistors. Function implementation using pass transistors. The disadvantages of them etc. Here we will discuss on transmission gates. We know that, NMOS transistor will pass strong 0. And PMOS transistor will pass strong 1. By combining an NMOS and PMOS transistor in parallel, we obtain a switch that turns on when a 1 is applied to G. In which zeros and ones are both passed in an acceptable fashion. It is termed as transmission gate or pass gate. The different symbols used to denote transmission gate are shown here. Commonly used symbol for transmission gate is this, shown in red circle. Now, we will see the implementation of an XOR gate using transmission gates. We know the truth table of XOR gate. The output Y will be 1. If both the inputs, A, and B, are not equal, the output Y will be 0, if both the inputs, A, and B, are equal, to draw the circuit, it will be good, if we get a good logic, so that we can implement the function easily. While observing the truth table, we will get a logic. The output Y is B, when input air is 0. And the output Y is B bar, when input air is 1. Now we can draw the circuit easily. First we will draw two transmission gates like this. Then, we will connect the drain of both together and join to the output terminal Y. No need of worry while drawing the circuit, seeing two gate terminals. G. And. G bar denoted here is GB. We have only need to consider the gate input G. The other gate terminal GB will be connected with complement of the input connected to G. The gate terminal G of the transmission gate at top, is connected with air bar and source with input B. The gate terminal G of the below transmission gate will be connected with input air and source with B bar. Thus we can implement the function air bar B plus air B bar. That is XOR gate. Now summary. Combining both NMOS transistor and PMOS transistor, we can make transmission gate. Which have one source one drain and two gate terminals. The gate terminal of PMOS that is GB will be the complement of the gate terminal of NMOS that is G. If G is 0, there won't be any current flow between source and drain. If G is 1, the input at source will pass to drain. If source voltage is 0, the NMOS transistor portion will pass strong 0. If source voltage is 1, then PMOS transistor portion will pass strong 1. The below are the other notations of transmission gate. Among these notations, the 1 circled in blue is the commonly used one in circuits. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the video. Support me by subscribing the channel. I'm expecting your suggestions too. Don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you all.